Now, in all this heat, it is important to remember the best ways to keep our pets protected. Veterinarians are reporting more heat-related illnesses in pets this summer. Fox 4's Dan Anglin joining us now with those details and also information on how to keep our furry friends safe. Dion. Hi there, Heather. That's right. Pets uh, can be just as, if not more, susceptible to heat-related illness as we are. And emergency rooms like this pet hospital are experiencing more visits this summer than they have in recent years. We're seeing a lot more cases of heat exhaustion and heat and stroke, especially in dogs. Dr. Lindsay Robinson at Fort Worth Veterinary Specialty and Emergency Hospital says they are busier than typically this summer with the extreme triple digit heat. While cats are not as susceptible to heat related illness, the dangers should be considered by all. So if you see a pet, you're walking outside and all of a sudden your dog just lays down, starts panting heavily, you need to take them inside. Um, that's a telltale sign that they're getting a little overheated, especially the heavy panting. It can progress if they can't cool themselves effectively to heat stroke. Dr. Robinson heeds her own advice with her two heavy coated Great Pyrenees dogs, Ripley and Winnie. She she especially cautions owners of bulldogs. So there are definitely some breeds that are at risk, your bulldogs, your French bulldogs, anything that you think has a short smushed face. Um, and, and those are gonna be ones that are hugely prone to heat stroke. So those are typically the ones that we see um, come in um, because they just can't pant effectively. She's a Alaskan clique guy. Adrian Cavazos works at the hospital and his dog, Alu, is recovering from an injury. She's also naturally a cold weather breed with a thick coat year round. We actually recently took a trip to Austin. I couldn't take her anywhere because, you know, it's too hot. It's too hot for her. She's not meant to be out in the heat this long. The Humane Society is sharing important tips for pets during the extreme heat, including limit outdoor exercise, provide ample water and shade if your pet must be outdoors, never leave a pet alone in a vehicle, and watch for signs of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. We have had uh, some dogs go outside for 30 minutes and come back with heat stroke. It's that hot outside. So uh, you just have to be really cautious. Never leave your pet unattended outside. Garrett Lever has two cats, but also a family dog, a corgi named Benny. Currently, his walks right now are less than 10 minutes. 30 is pushing it because I think any dog can get overheated very fast, and especially in Texas. Now, doctors say if you suspect your pet uh, has become overheated, it's important not to douse them or put water all over them, but rather put some cool water on the pads of their paws and uh, on their bellies. Uh, and then, uh, of course, get in touch with your veterinarian right away. That's the very latest live. Back to you all. All right. You got to be so careful. Dion, thank you.